Hello loves, it is me, Momo Ray, and I am back with another video. So if you have not yet, I ask that you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Again, if you have not yet, I ask that you would like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and join the family. So um, today I just wanted to come on. I'm pretty sure you have already seen that clip art. You have already read that title. So you know what today video, today's video will be about Basically, we'll be talking about my true opinion, um, <clears throat> my rating, and my review on the movie Society of Snow. If you have not heard of it yet, if you have not, you know, seen it raging on um, social media, then you're missing out. I'll just start off right there. Um, Society of the Snow. It's a movie that is on Netflix. When I say that this movie is a great movie, just stay tuned to find out why. Because I am again giving my honest and true opinion on the movie. Like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family. Um, and yeah, I have a lot of good videos coming. But I definitely, definitely, definitely wanted to top off me getting back on camera after being sick for a week or so with the flu. I'm still healing, so if you hear me coughing in this video, excuse me. If you see me drinking Gatorade, that is why. Or if you um, just feel like I might look a little flustered. <laughs> it is because I have been sick with the flu. Um, I'm doing a lot better now. I'm still healing, but during the time that I was sick with the flu, I had no other, anything, I had nothing better to do but um, to watch movies and shows. One of the movies that I watched while I was sick with the flu was called Society of the Snow. It's a Netflix movie. And it's about a uh, um, derby. I think I'm saying that right. I know some people say derby. Some people say derby. I say derby. But it's about a derby um, team that is involved in a plane crash, right? I don't want to give too many details. I don't want to give any spoilers. I don't want to spill tea. But I would say that that movie was amazing. When I say it is very graphic, I will be honest. It is very graphic. I love um, horror movies. I love crime documentaries. Um, and that was still very graphic for me. But I understand why it was graphic because they wanted to make sure you grasp the concept. You see what they went through during this plane crash. Um, and you know, you get to really truly experience what they experience. This movie to me is all about, how can I put it? All about teamwork, all about working together, you know, supporting each other, holding each other up getting through, you know, such a traumatic, traumatized experience. And when I say that this movie is compassionate, it's powerful, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. Um, there's never a dull moment. There's tosses, there's turns, there's ups, there's downs. But most importantly, it honestly taught me how to be humble, how to, you know, appreciate what I have in life, how we take for granted the small things in life, right? Like being able to eat every day, being able to turn on, on and off lights, being able to, you know, um, get up and go to work. Like, you know, a lot of us, we're only human. We take things for granted, not realizing that, you know, something so, you know, right now in life simple can be snatched away from you like that. And then when it is, what do you do to survive? How far are you willing to go to survive? What um, limits would you, you know, cross? What boundaries would you cross? Um, what are your limits? Like, how do you push yourself? How do you keep going? How do you just, you know, not give up? Um, what do you do when your faith is tested? I feel like that movie answered a lot of questions for me. I want to kind of explain what the movie is about, but then I, again, don't want to give any spoilers, but it is about a Darby team that, um, you know, was involved, involved in a plane crash and then they had to survive 
in the mountains, in the snow for, um, don't quote me on this. I can't remember the exact days, so I'm not going to say the exact days, but I will say a lot of days, a lot, like I'm talking about, um, 50 or better. And they, you know, only had each other. They only had, um, you know, they only had the desire to survive. They only could push each other. They could only try. And when I say things kept happening like back to back to back. So like I said, it's more than just a plane crash. Like you'll see, you know, it gets real, real serious on the movie. And um, yeah, like I give it a 10. I think it is a great movie. I think it is inspiring. It is based on true events. So, you know, keep that in mind while you're watching the movie. People really went through this. This was not traumatized, but I know it was a little, but not all the way like this really happened. Um, because I'm the type of person, once I watch a movie, a show, I always go and what I'll do is, you know, read up on it. Like, where are they now? What's going on? Who all survived? Who still, is li who still is living? See if they have any more stories or documentaries that they put out about it. But it is a great, great movie. Now, how I found out about the movie is social media, like Instagram, Facebook. Um, everyone was saying it's a must watch. If you have not went to see it, you should definitely go and check it out. Um, it just kept popping up on my timeline. And so I decided, like, what harm can it cause if I just go and, you know, check it out for myself? I love movies. I normally watch horror movies. I like thrillers. I like um, drama movies, dramatized movies. But a movie like this is definitely my type of movie as well because I like action pack or thrillers or, you know, survival stories. And this movie really, really made me feel like I needed to be more humble. I need to thank God for what I have. I need to, you know, thank God for being able to wake up every day to keep pushing, to keep trying. Life be lifing. Life really be lifing. But for me personally, when I see somebody else struggle or I see what someone else has went through, I realize that my life is nowhere near as bad as it could have, could be or could have been. Um, and that I'm actually very blessed. So I'm grateful. And that is what that movie inspires you to be grateful, you know, um, humble, great movie. It's action packed. It's heartfelt. I felt all of the emotions. I cried. I was happy. I was mad. I was confused. I was irritated. I was agitated. I was on the edge of my seat. It had me in a chokehold. That movie is definitely a 10 out of 10. That movie is worth watching. I would say you can watch it as a family. You can watch it as a couple. You can watch it by yourself like I did. Um, but just go check it out. I mean, yeah, it's on Netflix. And I repeat again, it's on Netflix. Um, if you have Netflix, I don't know what other networks is on. <coughs> <laughs> That's that cough I was selling out about. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm not sure what other platforms it's on, but it is on Netflix. It's worth the wait. It's worth the watch. It's a long movie, but it's worth it for sure. Um, I plan on doing this more often. I plan on just like, you know, coming on maybe on a Monday. Um, review Wednesday. I don't know. Comment down below and tell me guys what you think I what day you think I should do it on, but I definitely want to start doing reviews on movies and shows because I watch a lot of movies and shows. Um, that is a movie that I definitely had to come and just, you know, put my babies on and let y'all know that, hey, it's a very good movie on Netflix. If you have already seen it, please comment down below. Tell me your review. Tell me your opinion on it. Tell me if you enjoyed it, um, how you felt. Let's communicate, guys. Let's you know, start coming in and corresponding in the comment section. This weekend, I have a staycation that I am going to go on. I am so excited. Lord knows. I need a break. I need a staycation. I need to get away. Um, so, I definitely plan on bringing you guys along. I will make sure that I am recording. I will make sure that, you know, you guys get a room tour. You guys get to see some of the restaurants that I, um, 
we'll be trying out. Like, yeah, just, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. We have a staycation this weekend. Um, staycation, if you don't know what that means, let me be a living on the rock. But no, <laughs> a staycation is basically um, when you stay locally, but you go and stay outside of the house. That's very important. Get you, look, that's another thing about this movie. It shows you, in my opinion, how important it is to live life and value life and enjoy life. And because things can change like that in an instant. I'm talking about in a minute, in a second, in a day. You're looking back like, when did things go wrong? Trust me, I know. Um, things have changed like that for me in 2022. So, yeah, like, book that vacation. Go take yourself on a date. Go take yourself, you know, to the movies. Travel. Um, hang with your family and friends. Because, like I said, in that movie, you'll see. It shows you how important it is to, you know, just always, um, you know, live life. Because life can change so fast. So, yeah, I'm not going to be on here long because I'm sick. I'm coughing. I'm a throat is hurting as I'm talking. But I definitely rate that movie Society of the Snow a 10 out of 10. If you made it to the end, drop down below like the movie um, emoji. And yeah, let me know if you have seen it. Go see it. Hurry up. When you get off today, get you a snack. And go run to Netflix and watch that movie. I'm telling you. Very good movie. Have to watch it. Why haven't you watched it yet? Why are you still on this video? And why are you not watching the movie? Go watch the movie. Go watch the movie. And stop looking at me. <laughs> but yeah. Go watch it. And then come back on this video and tell me what you think. I would love to know. For me, it was a big 10 out of 10. And I'm out.